Welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be working on stage 40 of the Moomin House from Diagostini. And in stage 40, we're, we get the police inspector and we're going to be doing the bedroom door. So we'll go ahead and open the book to the instructions. And it's not going to be very hard to do. What it does say over here on tools required is wood glue, quick drying glue, fix sand and sandpaper. So here we have a police inspector. He is also he is a moment troll, by the way. And we have a ton of parts. So we have a door base, door panel or top, and the base, you can tell the difference between the base and the, the uh, top because the top is smaller. Just looking, this should be, yeah, this is going to be part of the door frame. This is actually going to be part of the door. This is door frame. This is part of the door. More frame. There's a ton of frame pieces. We have the pins here that hold the door in place and let it swing. And those are the doorknobs. And then they provide a piece of double-sided tape for when you put him inside the model. Instead of using double-sided tape, though, because I'm also working on the Disney dollhouse, I've picked up these glue dots. Those will work just as good, probably better, and last a lot better than the, than the, uh, than the double-sided tape. So the first thing we do is we're going to take the parts for the door but top and the bottom of the door it's just basically telling you how to identify them just looking making sure okay so we're gonna whoops got the wrong side actually no I got door side a okay this is door side B and it's kind of important to get your door put together right otherwise it won't swing actually I don't think it really matters that much until we start putting the frame together so we're going to put a little bit of the uh, weld bond in there and it's kind of funny because I just filled the bottle and for some reason every time I fill it it's flows out the top for a little while. It's kind of an interesting phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Sorry, it's a running joke for HTM. So we're going to slide this piece in here like that. And we're going to take the door panel, stick it in here. It has been so long since I've done this. this is a little bit of an adventure, maybe. And we're going to put it, I'm just checking. Yeah, they are saying to just put the glue. Actually, it says to put it on the tab. I'm putting it on the, in the groove instead. Hold these two together like that. And then the doorknob. Let's see. It looks like, almost like it could be equidistant. No, it's not. It's closer to the bottom. Drop a glue there, drop a glue there, 
slide this on here. Push it, push it together to where it's right. Clean up the little bit of excess. And now I'm going to pause the camera because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clamp on the top and the bottom of here and across there, across here. Well, I'm, I'm going to clamp it so that it will stay in place. I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes so that it will start to cure. Actually, I shouldn't have to clamp it. I should be able to just set it down. You see, if I move it at all, it shifts. So I might still clamp it. I have, I have not clamped them before. I don't think it's been a long time since I've worked on the Moomin House. But as long as they're they're in there right, I should be able to put a clamp across here and let it sit for a few minutes. So I will be back. Okay, door is still dry, drying, but I'm going to press on because I don't come back to the door for a couple of minutes. I'm going to take my scalpel. I'm going to open up the hinge pin and the door handle, which actually I'm coming right back to the, uh, the door itself, dopey me. But I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these pin, the uh, door handles in from either side after I put a drop of glue, drop a super glue down inside there. Actually, I'll put the glue on the handle itself. And they are very small. I've got one of them down between my fingers and I can't get it back up. It's actually playing hide and seek with. So those are the pins for the door handle, or the, those are the door handles, not really pins. Let's see, there's my glue. My glue pad, I guess you'd call it. It looks like it might, glue might be Because I did a stupid last night, didn't even think about it. I forgot to close the glue. There we go. And that's because I set it over there like that. And then uh, I forget to uh, close it after I've got it sitting there for a while. I set it there like that so that it will. Um, so that all the glue will drain back down inside the bottle. I'm going to put a drop of glue in there on both sides. I'm going to take one pin, push it in from one side. See if I can get it to go in. Said it has been a, been a minute since I've worked on the Moomin House. Okay, there's that one. And it says to leave the door handle sticking out about a millimeter. This one in place. Door's about to fall apart. Come on. It just does not want to go in that hole. Kind of like a golf ball in Happy Gilmore. Of course, as soon as it, I'm, I'm about to stop the camera and do it, and as soon as I do it, it's going to flip right in there where it was supposed to be. Okay, doors coming apart. <laughs> so let me pause the camera and get everything back together. Okay, got it back together, and I actually reread the instructions, and it said at least on this side, maybe it was the other side, 
it did say the rung glue along the entire edge of the door. Let's see, plywood glue the left bottom edges of the door panel. It did, it said to put glue on all sides, but I didn't. It should work out as long as these parts dry okay. If it comes apart, it's not too hard to fix. So next part of the door that we're going to do is we're going to take the base and it says to apply glue to the right side. I'm about to, I was about to put it on the wrong side. So we're going to apply, click apply glue right here. And it says to make sure that pinhole is away from the door. So something like this. And it's floppy right now. It'll actually, everything firms up pretty much when you um, put it into the house. So we got a little bit of glue there. We'll put some on the face here. And here, and I'm probably using too much glue right now because I'm using the bigger tip. Just double checking. You end up with glue all over your fingers. Unlike the, when I do styrene models as well, and with styrene, you don't end up with so much glue on your fingers as you do with white glue. It's just the nature of building the models. And then we're going to take the other side, and we're going to do the same thing, except for I'm going to apply the, apply the glue. off of here a little bit. I'm going to slide this side over on top of it. And it is really, really floppy right now. Just double check what the instructions say. So the instructions say to glue this part on right now. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. I'm going to give it a shot but it's, it's going to have to then sit for a couple minutes so that it gets tacky. It starts to hold itself together. And not, not really a side, it's a top. Let's see that. That we're going to let sit for a couple of minutes just so that it can start to hold because it's still going to be able to shift a little bit once it's started to dry because the next thing we got to do <clears throat> is we have to put the door in and that's going to be putting a pin in from the top and the bottom. Actually what I can do, now I've got stuff to stack on top of it. So I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes after this has started to set up and see what, uh, and let you see what it's doing. Okay so I've brought over the um, floor and the wall and I brought this on the camera right now because I wanted to show I actually cheated a little bit to get this piece to stay together hopefully I can push it back out of here without too much problem because that's actually where it's going to end up now what I'm going to do let's switch back to the other camera is I'm going to Drop the pins in. Oops. After I drop the uh, tweezers, I'm going to drop the pins in. There they go. And you'll know it's in place because when it, the door, it drops down inside of the door. catching right now so let's do it this way there we go make sure it's all the way down and then turn it over and do the exact same thing from the bottom This 
is something that it would be really great if they would provide a spare for. Especially because if you grip it too hard with the tweezers, you're going to lose it. If you don't grip it hard enough, it's not going to want to go in. It, as a matter of fact, it stayed on the tweezers instead when I finally got it to sit in the hole. So that one's close to in. I'm holding my finger over the top one. Open the door. Here, hopefully, to line it up. So that one's now in place. It does say to put a small drop of glue on there to hold the pin in place. It's not going to hold it for very long because as soon as I get done, this is going into the door frame. So let's switch back says to put it on the pink side so it's going to go in here like this and this one thing I didn't mention is it does say in the instructions to make sure that the um, door handle ends up on the bottom side of the door and so we're going to push this in here I didn't think about it and it's too late now it is in place it did say to glue it. <laughs> I think it says. Mm. All assembly applied glue to the edge of the assembled door frame and insert it into the opening. Well, I just stuck it in the opening. I didn't apply glue. What I can do is because we're going to need to anyway, we're going to apply a little bit of glue across the top here. Where I can actually see the little seep down inside there. Do it across the side here as well. Both sides actually. There's a slight gap. Once this glue is here, I'm, I'm, I would have to put some glue on here anyway. clean the tip of this model off. I'd have to put some glue on there anyway because the frame pieces. And so we're going to push frame pieces into place on here. Finishing up this door. Top frame is going to be the most important because the top frame is going to make sure this door is shaped correctly. see there's a 45 degree angle on each of the pieces. It is completely flat. There is no lip on there. Come on, get on there straight. This is almost as bad as hanging a real door. Oh, that's, that's what I'm doing wrong. So this is actually going to cover the other side of the frame completely. And I'm showing it to the top camera while I'm doing, while I've got the side camera shown. I do have to say, since I've started the Disney house, I'm much more impressed with the Disney house doors. They use a lot of the same techniques, but the Disney house doors are a little bit easier to put in place. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Let's see the key thing is the door, the door should be able to, should, big word, got the top part down too far, this block
locking the swinging of the door. I do have to say, I think the first door that I did was actually not standing in the house at the time. And uh, now my door has fallen apart. <laughs> this is not working out to be a great day. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. We're going to put a little bit of glue on here. I'm going to put this door in here. And hopefully the white glue will not grab so badly that it will not let me swing the door. Maybe that's not in. This is turning into a disaster, folks, in case you're curious. Okay. Might have to pull this door completely back out. For right now, we're gonna leave it like that. Make sure the top sides are lined up. Because the key thing is, what I wanted to do, and it's not going to let me because the door keeps coming apart. I wanted to double check that I could actually swing it all the way through. But I can't right now. Because every time I try and swing it, what happens is the door falls apart. So we're going to leave it at that. Sorry, got it aimed a little bit high. We're going to leave the door like that, hanging open. It will, it should work once everything is dry. But at this point, I don't want to chance it. I'm not going to try and take the door back out. Andrea did point out that there's a bubble in the paper here, but that's because this there's a seam there. I think there was a seam on the other one as well. Just a couple of little issues. Fortunately, this is going to be far enough in. You probably won't notice. If you do, not much I can do about it. I can't take the paper back off. There is a seam between two pieces of wood. This, this fascia and this fascia. So, we're going to leave it here. We're going to let things dry. And... Um, after it dries, I will come back and do an outro for this video just to show how things finally turned out. You can see here also the wallpaper is kind of sticking off. There, they, if I remember right, they said to cut it off. I'm going to leave it like that because there is going to be an outer wall here. So, a couple of issues, but it will turn out okay in the end. I will be back once this is dried and I can show you how it looks. Okay, it's actually been almost a week, but here it is. Door is in place, works. Unfortunately, I'm continuing to have some issues with the wallpaper. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but the door is in and you know, it, it, it took a little bit of work. But door works, door's in place. Hopefully I won't have any problems with this one over here because I believe that's the next one. Ooh, that was not good. This is flexing, which means I'm probably gonna have to re-glue that. And like I said, right here, I keep having problems with this wallpaper. I might actually have to peel part of it back and put glue underneath there, which is odd considering that it's pre-glued. So that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified of any time I post new videos. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, have a great day, have a great day tomorrow, and we will see you in the next